there are two massive pieces of land to the south. You have the provincially owned Ontario place. To the north, we have the CNE. Now they're both at a crossroads, and I'm not speaking about the lake shore below me that divides them. They both need a pretty big facelift. And there's one group that includes one of the richest families in Toronto that are pitching their own plan, and it includes bringing the Science Centre down here to the waterfront. The Science Centre is a wonderful institution. I always used to take my kids there. But it's not in a very public location, and it's not in a location where it can benefit from all kinds of other things going on. The idea is being pitched by urban planner Joe Barrage and Ken Tannenbaum, whose father owns 25% of MLSE. The two have drawn up what they call a bold vision to spark discussion for what Ontario Place could be. It includes incorporating the exhibition grounds and making them work together. We need to really think about this as one place uh, and, and, and raise the game. Just running a proposal call for Ontario Place, frankly, is a bit of a waste of time. Lots of people have done it and they've always flopped. Part of their pitch also includes building expanded convention center space, revitalizing the famous pods, a redistribution of land ownership between the city and the province, as well as creating innovative transit for the site. You could start to have aerial tramways connecting the whole place. You only get one chance to revitalize Ontario Place. You only get one chance to revitalize Exhibition Place. This week, City Council voted unanimously to work with the provincial government to revitalize both sites together. Though there's no indication if the Ford government is even interested in a united vision for the X and Ontario Place. A statement in part from the Provincial Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport noted that an expression of interest process will open in the spring. The process will encourage potential partners from around the world to take a fresh look at Ontario Place. Over multiple days this week, City News has asked the Minister's office when they'll begin accepting expressions of interest since the spring is already here. For reasons unknown, they've declined to provide a date. Are you confident the city will have a seat at the table, though, when it comes to discussions about Ontario Place? I think it makes so much sense to have the discussions about Ontario Place and Exhibition Place together, and so we'll see. Uh, you know, so far, the experience with the budget, it doesn't leave you all that optimistic. Now, through uh, Infrastructure Ontario, the provincial government has set up a bunch of guidelines and proposals. Uh, if you want to put in a proposal, you're going to have to follow these guidelines. If you're looking to build a residential, well, that's not being considered. If you're looking to purchase land, that as well is not being considered. And if you're looking for capital or operating grants from the provincial government, that's off the table too. And our urban planner that we spoke with says that likely means the province is looking for the private sector to foot the entire bill. He says it's likely not going to happen, that this should and needs to be a public-private partnership.